My people, how's everybody doing? I know you can't answer that question, but I feel like I need to ask it. I hope this uh, video finds you well and happy. Hit that like button for me if you don't mind. <clears throat> be very much appreciated. And also, make sure you check out dnkknives.com. Great company, great people. Also, they're offering Sezzle now. And you can use this coupon code to save even more money by using Behind the Edge 10, one word, and you get 10% off. Great company, great people. <clears throat> what else do you need? <clears throat> um, also, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to Patreon in the description. Uh, or you can join the My People channel membership, uh, both of which I do frequent giveaways on. And I'm actually going to do a uh, membership giveaway uh, probably tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And if you want to get involved, um, it, it I, it's pretty cost uh friendly it's three bucks uh on up to six bucks um very very affordable and it absolutely helps the channel stay going also um if if you like the content consider the uh super thanks and super stickers as a one-time um kind of thing and just know that all my patrons and all my members and everybody who does support the channel i really do truly thank you very much and it absolutely uh, is what's keeping this channel going. The, um, <clears throat> YouTube has recently started demonetizing uh, half of my videos. And I, I know it might be in my head, but I feel like it's the ones that are doing the best. You know, I'll have five and six hundred views, and they'll demonetize the crap out of it immediately. Um, I don't know if it's because there's cussing and... Uh, which is adult content. This is an adult video. I clearly mark the video as not for children when I upload it. <clears throat> so I don't see what the problem is. But YouTube sees a problem with it. So they demonetize it and pretty much the, the video is just there in the ether doing nothing but being content. Um, it helps. It helps, guys. Anyway, today um, we're going to talk about... Uh, the, the spider coat police four but more importantly the k390 blade that is on this spider coat police four um this is one of the few knives that i've had around long enough um to do a one year video on <clears throat> so i've had this a little longer than a year but um and 99% of the time, this is my daily work carry, which, are, you know, Monday through Friday, normal work week that most people have. A lot of times I do work more than uh, five days, but for the most part. So I can definitely say with uh, a great deal of confidence that uh, <clears throat> I've put this knife through a ton of hard use. Um it is absolutely my favorite work knife by long shot. I, I do enjoy the model itself quite a lot. It is uh, fantastic. Um, FRN is really not my favorite material. I, I, I honestly can't stand FRN, but I like the model so much. One second, I'm gonna turn this fan on. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I like the model so much that I look past the FRN and, and the Endura as well. I enjoy this model so much that the FRN does not bother me that bad. Now, obviously, I would prefer G10 or prefer uh, titanium, aluminum, any other um, material, but it works. It does keep it pretty light. For a four and a half inch blade, uh, this knife is not very heavy. Real quick, I've never weighed this, I'm just curious. So it's 4.2 ounces, so it is even below the ounce to inch ratio, so that's fantastic. Um, over the life of this knife, I have sharpened it one time. I sharpened it probably a month after I got it. Um, and since then, I've had to strop it here and there, but very, very infrequently. Um, and I mean, maybe once a month, and it really doesn't need it. I just do it because I like to do it. Um, <clears throat> now, the ZDP-189 I've used quite a bit as well. And it is a high-hardness, semi-stainless steel. It's probably Rockweld at close 
at or close to the K390. So it is a upper um, mid-60s, let's say, because I don't know exactly, but mid-60s Rockwell. Um, but I've had to strop and sharpen this way more, or at least two double the, the amount of times I've had to do anything to this blade at all. Um, I probably haven't stropped it in, I don't know, maybe maybe two or three weeks, and I have used it every single day. I break down multiple boxes, large cabinet boxes, um, uh, bust banding, uh, cutting zip ties, uh, not crazy stuff, but, you know, normal daily use, and this thing just stays incredibly sharp. There was a couple hiccups in there, but for something that has not been sharpened or stropped, and it hasn't been sharpened in a year, and hasn't been stropped in at least a couple weeks, I have to say that's just freaking mind-blowing. And uh, for that reason, K390 is absolutely 100% my favorite steel. Uh, I like it even more than 15V, uh, mostly because I haven't used the 15V near as much. <clears throat> but also because I, I I feel like, I don't know this for sure because I'm not a scientist, everybody knows that, uh, I feel like the K390 is everything 15B is, except for just slightly less edge retention and much tougher. I believe this to be tougher, and that's just my opinion uh, in my experience. Um the uh, 15B obviously is going to have a little bit better reten edge retention. But on this level of edge retention, you're already on the moon. So it, you're already way, way above most anything else. So even the ZDP, which is very well known for excellent edge retention, it's it's as good as, um, as very high-end M390, uh, especially... Spyderco's ZDP. They do a fantastic job. It's a Japanese steel. This knife is made in Japan. They know what they're doing with the ZDP, and it's done very well. But it still just cannot even come close to the K390 at very similar Rockwells. And I know they're different steels and, the, you know, different protocols and everything for heat treat. But the, the K390, to me, is just bananas. Um, you know, that's... Part of the reason why the uh, the whole MagnaCut um, craze right now, yes, MagnaCut is a fantastic steel. It is uh, a steel that has all the attributes and does all of them very well. Uh, your edge retention, your stainlessness, toughness, and relatively easy to sharpen. But I argue that all of those things except for one, has existed on a high level for a very long time, and even higher level than MagnaCut. Your edge retention on this K390, um, this particular K390 is going to be as good or better than the edge retention on MagnaCut. The only thing that this K390 doesn't have is the stainlessness. It is easy to sharpen. It is quite tough, probably not as tough as MagnaCut, but absolutely tough enough. And that is from experience. That's not from any kind of psych, uh, scientific know-how. That's that's only from experience. And I know what I've done, and I know what it can do. Um, but it's not stainless at all. As you can see, it is, it's got some color to it, a little bit of patina. But for a knife I've used every day for a year, it's not bad at all. After you use the damn thing, wipe it off. And I just wipe it off on my pant leg, stick it in my pocket, and go. I don't go crazy with it. And, you know, once a month, I'll drop some oil on it. Again, no big deal. You know, I don't recommend cutting up cutting up your lunch with it if you're going to oil it a lot. But <clears throat> I'm a dude. I really don't care. I'll oil it and then two days later cut up an apple, cut up an apple with it and give myself some kind of uh, lead poisoning. And I'll just keep going with it. Because I don't think about stuff like that. But also... It will keep that edge, once this is sharpened and you strop it, it'll hang on to that front end crazy sharpness for a very long time. Like, um, 
Nitro V. You can get Nitro V and 14C28 and the like steels to a bananas acute sharp edge. And it'll be just breathtaking how sharp it is. But it'll lose that as soon as you smile at it. I mean, as soon as you use it, that crazy sharpness is gone. Um, same thing with the... This will hold it a little longer, but not, not that much longer. Um, that crazy sharpness is gone. Um, which is what I, what I like. You know, that's my, that's my jam. So the K390 is going to hold that for just an astounding long time. Uh, just like 10V, um, which is very close to uh, being just identical, not chemically, but in, in uh, its attributes, is just as good as K390. They're about neck and neck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, um, like 20CV, M390, 204P, those are all excellent, and the only thing that they're better at K390 than is um, stainlessness, just like any other stainless steel. Uh, there's zero stainlessness with this steel. It will rust, it will pit, so you absolutely have to take care of it. But um, let's get to the model itself. So it is a big knife. It has a, an obscenely long blade that's almost four and a half inches. I love that. Um, it will get in to wherever I need it to go. Um, I don't have to choke up in any way, even though it does have a choil, which is comfortable, but I, I typically use it back here and I'll rest my thumb on that. Um, it also has the back lock that nobody likes, but as for what it is, it's use in a, in a user knife, it's, it's all you need. Um, it's not for action. It's not for um, being fidgety. It's just a knife to cut something and stick it back in your pocket. So it's a strong, strong enough lock for that job, and it does it very well. I did add the uh, deep carry lynch clip to it just because I'm just not a fan of spider clothes stock clips. They do work well. I just don't like them. And I almost didn't put one on this knife because of how long this knife is. The stock clip did work very well. I just, I think it's ugly and that's just a personal preference. Um, and pretty much any spider co I get, I will put the lynch clip on it because I like it. Um, also, uh, MXG makes an excellent clip too. You know, there is other options out there. But uh, this knife has never been centered. It has been just way to the uh the normal lock side for the entire time i've had it and i could fix that i could um take it apart and take the liners out of there and just tweak them just enough bend them a little bit to push this blade back over but i'm not worried about it because it's just a user work knife um if it became a situation where uh, i had to depend on this my life or my kids life or my family into any had to depend on this knife um, or a knife in general this would be the one I would grab uh, if I could not use a fixed blade so I cannot recommend this knife enough I just it's just that good it really is and if you don't want one just so quite just so gosh darn big I hate saying gosh darn I should be able to speak like a normal human being say a cuss word and not have to worry about them rake, raking my money away. It's ridiculous. The Endura. Um, you still get a full size knife with. And it is also available in K390. If you don't want the Giant Police 4. Also the Delica is available in the K390. And if you search the, um, the secondary. Sometimes you can find a PM2 with the K390, which I would love to have another one of those. Should have never got rid of that thing. All right, guys, let me know how you feel about K390. What's your experience with it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think the stainlessness is a big deal? Is it a problem? Let me know. And uh, also let me know what your favorite uh, lightweight model is of Spydercos, because they got a lot. The Stretch 2 uh, is also a good one. The Andela. Um, which is a redundant knife in my opinion. It's it's okay, but there's no reason to even make that knife because it's not 
that different from the Endura. Um, yeah, let me know. That's all I got for you guys tonight. It's a little bit of a long-winded video. I know I'm griping about, you know, not real-world problems. First-world problems by getting demonetized, and I sound like I'm whining. I'm really not. I do try to put um, a lot of effort into most of my videos. Uh, I take notes. I know I don't edit, you know, but I, I, I do try to put some time into my videos and think about them before I just go rambling. So when they take and demonetize it because I said the, uh, the C word or anything like that, it's just, it's crazy. And you know what? I think I'm just going to let them demonetize it and I'm going to say whatever I want. So make sure you're good to each other, love each other. Remember, life is short, so... Don't be a big old meanie. Later.